<sighs> you know when you just really want some fried chicken? When you're just a little hungover and you need something fried and crisp and delicious? Today's the day. Biscuits, cook me something that's delicious. I've been waiting all morning for you, babe, to fix me something. Make some coffee or some dumplings. I don't care, I just want something. Could be sweet or maybe spicy. Make it quick for I get feisty. Always delicious. I'll do the dishes for Jerry Joyce. Kitchen party. We're gonna fry some chicken till it's very crisp. We're gonna spice it with heaps of paprika and cayenne. I'm gonna make a creamy daikon slaw, some kind of Swedish pickles, and then a skillet pantry apple pie, which we will talk through later. All right, let's get the chicken. Pretend it's the night before, and we're just going to cover our chicken in yogurt, some lemon and some spices, and it's just gonna chill, literally, in the fridge, getting ready for you to be delighted the next day. Every time a recipe calls for buttermilk, I end up with like half a carton of buttermilk in the fridge, and I look at it and I'm like, one day I'll make pancakes with you, and I never do, and then I just throw it out. So you always have, well, I always have yogurt. Yogurt is a good alternative. Just add a bit of lemon and it kind of starts acting like buttermilk. Make sure you coat that chicken really, really well. Um, and then we're just gonna shove it in a Ziploc bag and chuck it in the fridge. The longer it sits, obviously, the more the flavor and the tenderness is gonna happen there with the chicky chicky, but a couple of hours, one hour, half an hour. So I just did this really quick slaw. It's just daikon, some mayo, some salt and pepper, uh, tossed with your hands in a bowl, chuck it on the chicken. Uh, the creaminess really works with the crisp chick. Okay, here I am gonna tell you that you can fry at home. And it's not scary, I promise. Chicken that's been resting overnight into a big bowl. Plain flour mixed with maybe some onion or garlic powder if you have it, if not salt, pepper, and I'm just gonna put a bit more paprika in there. Crack an egg into the flour to just kind of create some good craggy bits on the chicken. Oh look, an egg. See those like craggy bits? That's what's gonna give us some extra good crunch. The paprika in the flour also makes it look more done than it is. Just uh, must have tool here in the kitchen, scissors. Give a little trim and you'll see. This is a really cute Maggie and I in the kitchen together. Wearing our matching gingham. <laughs> Uh, she got the memo. It's a gingham themed day. Thank you. Ooh, thank you. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Hopefully they will be crisp. <laughs> Crispy's not a word. Crisp is a word. What? Yeah. I learnt that. That's probably well, the only thing I learnt from Pat Nurse. <laughs> And we have successfully fried chicken at home. Only the splatter from my tongs. Biggest discovery of 2020 that I will carry on into this year, next year, and the rest of my life. You can just buy the buns at McDonald's. You don't really want much flavor from your bun, really. It's all coming from everything else. So this is just like edible napkins. <laughs> Did you get this is delicious and have some beer? Mm. I'm gonna make a skillet pie once I've devoured this. Um, and I'm getting my salty, my sweet, and all of my A's and B's and ones and threes. <laughs> So 
the lemon should keep it all pretty bright and then it's just bubbling away in its brown sugar and its spices and while that's happening we're going to make our crust. It's a muesli concoction. Yeah, I would say about two cups. I have some puff stuff which I got at a whole food store. So I've got muesli, I've got buckwheat. You also want to add just um, a handful of flour to bind that as well. Guess what? You're getting your hands involved. Okay, pantry pie going in for about 30 minutes. We've eaten our burgers, we've devoured our pie. I think you should go have a bath and get into bed. And I'll see you for another party another time.